All right, today is Tuesday, April 19th. Let's do a quick little update here. Uh, this is the wicking bed that had the radishes in it. Took those out on on uh, Monday, yesterday, and uh, planted some carrots. These carrot starters I had already bought at the store, and that one over there, you couldn't see it before with all the radishes, but that had been planted along with the radishes a while back. So that one might even be ready now, I don't know. Uh, and just real quickly over here, the watermelon plant is doing fine. I really need to read up on this and find out how long it should take for them to to be ready. But it's uh, grown out quite a bit, as you can see. And then what I really wanted to update was the lettuce production, because I'm going to be able to take some lettuces home today. These have been in here. 24 days they they went in as starters that I'd purchased from the store you can see the uh, the size that they were from that video update I think it was the the last update in March that they went in and I would say that most most of these are yeah I'd say most of these are ready these are certainly all of these and all of these are are ready I'm going to take and be taking them out and taking them home today uh, and then what I did also yesterday over here, I planted these uh, yellow tomato plants. They're real small right now. These I bought at the store as starters, uh, with the exception of this one. That I, uh, that one went in a long time ago, and it finally just kind of started to to really grow. I have no idea why. I almost threw it away a week or two ago, but now it looks okay. And over here, I planted. Again, this was yesterday. These are Panamanian chilies, and these are uh, eggplant. Those are, of course, uh, chives. Those have been in there for about a week now. And then these plants here, uh, I had no idea what these were, so I, I decided to taste one. And what these are is they're mustard. I'd totally forgotten about them. And before I had these, these two watermelon plants, had covered this all up so I couldn't even see them. And when I cut the watermelon plants back, I realized that that these mustard plants were there and these I had started from seed they were tiny I'm gonna look up the video on them later um, because when I planted them I never thought that they would ever make it and even though these look a little yellow um, maybe they're supposed to be yellow. I really don't know but they really they taste excellent um, and the other thing I did here that's our zucchini plant planted a few other things in here these are that right there uh, that's another Panamanian chili plant, along with that one over there. This is a, I forget what kind of chili plant that is. I can't take credit for that one because that was planted as a, as a starter, a pretty advanced starter about two weeks ago. So we'll see how that does. And then over in this plant, uh, that's a yellow tomato plant. That is another Panamanian chili plant. So is that. That is another tomato plant. So we'll see how these all do. I've got a lot of yellow tomato plants uh, in both gravel and in the raft beds. And the other thing I'm going to do over here in this plant is I, I just I got these uh, stacking containers. I grabbed these out of another greenhouse that's no longer using them. These are Vertigro stacking containers. They're made by a company out in Florida. They're designed for strawberries. And I am going to try to do strawberries in here but I'll probably also be able to use them for other things. I, I don't know what yet, but the idea basically is I'll run water, I'll run my, my fish water all the way to the top, and the water will percolate down from one basket into the other. These have, these baskets have, if you can see that, yeah, see those drainage holes? So it just percolates down from one to the other, and then at the end, it'll just land in my gravel bed anyways. And what I'll do is I'll fill those with some uh, volcanic rock, which should be uh, neutral as far as pH goes and everything else goes. Hopefully it won't affect anything. That's an aloe plant I had in there before. So I don't know what I'll put in there yet, but uh, I like the vertical, uh, the, the way they, they use the vertical space. That's pretty cool. So I look forward to planting something in there. Zucchini plant, not much to update here. Hopefully those will turn into zucchinis soon. 
and the asparagus plant. I cut these back. Uh, you're supposed to cut them back. I'm not sure how often you're supposed to cut them back, but I just going to keep cutting them back until I get some spears coming out. And then these are other carrots that I planted in here in the wicking bed. And that's about it. I'm thinking of maybe changing the way my soil filter is set up. My fish have multiplied a lot and they're much bigger. Uh, I'm feeding them about two tuna, tuna tin uh, fulls of fish feed a day now. One in the morning, one in the, at night. And I get a lot more waste now. And also the plants are doing fantastic. I'm sure that's also uh, part of why the plants are doing so well. Uh, but I get a lot more waste produced in this barrel. I have no easy way of cleaning it out. So I just might be rethinking that whole uh, design over here. But anyway, other than that, everything looks pretty good.